Nizar Farsakh is a lecturer of international affairs at the uh, George Washington University. Welcome to the program. Uh, where does this all go next and can the US delay or even stop a Gaza invasion? Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, the US is trying to delay a uh, Gaza invasion for a, um, a variety of reasons. Uh, first of which is that the US administration doesn't believe that the current uh, Israeli government is um, has the mindset to actually run such an operation, given how uh, chaotic and how um, lacking in popularity this government has. Uh, in addition to that, uh, the main concern for the US administration is that there are so many very different scenarios in which uh, any ground invasion of Gaza would uh, play out, including um, the intervention of Hamas or even Iran. And therefore, the U.S. is trying to put as many assets as possible in the region in order to be ready for any eventuality. And mm -hmm. if, if we remember, like when uh, in the, the two Gulf Wars, it took months for the U.S. to um, bring sufficient assets to be able to manage um, uh, any regional confl conflagration. And uh, Nizari, you, you mentioned a point, you know, those different scenarios and, and the possibility also you know, of, of Iran being involved. But does Israel <clears throat> really have a plan after this uh, expected land invasion? And what are exactly Israel's goals here? So Israel has always had a default plan for, um, or different default plans for uh, a ground invasion of Gaza, and the last five wars, uh, they've learned a few lessons. However, their main problem is, um, given that how blindsided they were by the attack on October 7th, um, they, in fact, do not even have the capacity to imagine uh, what uh, the Israel Palestinian resistance has uh, in store for them for a, a land invasion, because the Palestinian resistance has been planning this for at least 18 months, if not two years. Uh, and of course, they will have uh, contingency plans for a ground in, uh, an expected ground invasion by the Israelis. So definitely, uh, there are surprises that are uh, going to be awaiting uh, the Israeli troops. And what do you mean? What do you mean the... by that, Nizad? Surprises that would be uh, awaiting the uh, Israeli uh, army and. How strong could that retaliation be? So uh, countermeasures or like uh, counterattacks that the Israelis are not expecting. Uh, if you recall uh, the way the uh, Hamas managed to capture uh, Galat Shalit uh, several years ago was in fact uh, by uh, digging a tunnel behind Israeli lines and they came from where the Israelis were not expecting them. So similar surprises of where, or where the Israeli army or the Israeli planners uh, do not imagine what is awaiting them, and therefore. But, but Nizar, the so, again, sorry to, inter yes. to interrupt, but wouldn't you imagine that Israel, given uh, what happened on the seventh of October, that they would be on their highest security alert possible? Because Netanyahu can't afford another embarrassment. Israel can't afford, uh, again, I, I would use that that word, a security failure again, or any surprises sure. by Hamas, as you're saying. Sure, but but that was also the that was also true on October sixth, and they didn't expect any of that. There were seven hours in which uh, Hamas militants were able to move freely across the area without even an Israeli helicopter uh, uh, engaging them. So this government, and not only this government, the Israeli government, in fact, the military and intelligence institutions in Israel are simply not equipped to deal with this Hamas. They had some profile of Hamas and their capabilities, and all of that intelligence turned out to be wrong. So what they're going to do, and this is what the point I was uh, trying to get to, is they know they're going to take, uh, it's going to take a long time because they're going to need to uh, enter literally uh, meter uh, by meter, foot by foot, uh, testing and checking uh, what are the different uh, um, uh, countermeasures that Hamas has ready for them. Uh, and therefore, they're trying. The Israeli government is trying to prepare the Israeli public, which is ready. The Israeli public is ready for uh, uh, high mm -hmm. levels of casualties, as well as sacrificing the hostages. There are many Israelis that are fine with that because if that in return they're gonna uh, uh, get a result where Hamas is no longer there. Now that's a tall order, uh, but that's where the Israeli public is at, and therefore the Israeli government is trying to uh, secure that 
uh, knowing that it has, let's say, a license from the Israeli public to uh, engage in a multi-week, if not multi-month uh, uh, war. Nizar, thank you so much uh, for your insights. Nizar Farsah joining us there from Washington.